What's going on everyone? So it is not warm out here today. I'm with JC on JC's boat. And one thing that we like to do when the weather gets a little bit cooler is we want to go try and target some sheep's head. And it is a great time of year to do that. And their favorite food, favorite bait to use is live fiddler crabs. So I got a bucket of live fiddler crabs here. We're going to be pitching uh, some crabs around these dock pilings over here in this residential kind of area. Uh, JC is going to be using like a free line kind of like maybe yellow tail jig or free line hook. I'm going to be using something special. These are called bottom sweeper jigs. And this is something that a lot of you guys have recommended in pretty much every single sheep's head fishing video I've used. You guys are saying you have to try out these bottom sweepers. They're designed to sit right on the bottom with a hook standing straight up to make the hook hook up ratio really good. So I went ahead, ordered a couple of them. And we're going to be testing them out today, kind of do like a little competition to see what's better, what gets more fish, the bottom sweeper versus like a free line or just like a hook. You guys have really recommended I uh, try bottom sweeper jigs for sheep's head. We're going to see if these guys live up to the hype. A quarter ounce bottom sweeper right there. It's apparently specifically made for like sheep's head and fish that are kind of like that where they feed off the bottom. So sheep's head, drum, uh, in the north, to tog. It'd be kind of cool. And you just kind of feed a little fiddler crab on them just like that. Drop them down right by these pilings. Let's see if there's any sheep. We're in about, what, five feet of water? Yeah. Just by some residential docks. Got him. There you go. Oh what do you have? Gosh. What do you have? Dude, what is the big oh, sheep? Good sheep. Big sheep. Good sheep. Look at you. <laughs> do you need help? Dude, that's a big one. Dude, you he ate it too. Oh my god. Let me drop in that there now. That was right on that piling that Well, we were on top of him. Dude, I was freelining. Yeah, you were JC's freelining. I'm using the bottom sweeper. So I guess we're doing a little competition today. No, here, look. I got an idea. I got you. Oh, okay. Come good on. one. Good one. Come on up. Not as good as yours. That's good. That's a keeper for sure. All right, first fish on the, the bottom sweeper right there. Not quite the size of uh, JC's uh, 18 he just got, but we're tied at one. Look at that bottom sweeper right there, the top lip. Beautiful sheep's head right there. They only need to be 12 inches to keep, but we're not going to keep any today. We're just kind of showing you guys how to catch these fish. So get a release on them. See you, dude. Here we go. Just feed your fiddler crab right there on the bottom sweeper. And got that good one on it. So let's see if we can get a better one. Just dropping it right by these pilings. These sheep's head sit right along these pilings. It's kind of pick up any crabs or chew on the barnacles. Oh my goodness. Did he just chase it? That was like a four inch sheep's head. Oh, that really? chased it up, yeah. That was cute. Drop it over there by that piling. Let it sink down to the bottom. Just kind of. Dude. Oh. Did you have one? Yeah. But I like really got it around that piling and he kind of got. I'm sure they're on that back piling back there too. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure they're everywhere. It's a go cold front going right now. Fires up these sheep's head. They're definitely a cold water water fish. Oh, Just sure. time of year to do it to either go catch or pick up some fiddler crabs from a bait shop. Mm -hmm. Just drop it around some pilings. No. There's depth. I think you missed one. I got sniped. I was adjusting the troll motor. Got him. Good one. Another good one. Dude, yeah. <laughs> That's probably the one I missed. Dude, this is fun. This is nice. <laughs> this is fun. Just using these little bottom sweepers, or you could do a free line, but bottom sweepers. Dude, look how the entire jig is in his mouth. Yeah, he wanted it. He <laughs> ate that whole thing. Said, Let me get that. Oh, now it's in the corner of his mouth, but that's another clearly keeper sized sheep's head. These guys are delicious. I know a lot of you guys love this time of year because then you can come out and slay these guys. Get yourself some nice fish tacos going, but these guys are being released today. It's our lucky day. See you, dude. Drop it 
down, let it sit on the bottom. And apparently these jigs are like designed to sit on the bottom, but they're kind of football shape in a way where the hook is like sticking up, which is supposed to help with hookup ratios. So, I mean, it's doing decent so far. Yeah. Got him. Oh, little guy. Okay, so those are the ones that. These are the ones that are stealing our bait. He's close to a keeper, honestly. Probably 10, 11 inches, but I don't think he's quite there yet. Ow, they do have some good old spikes on them. They call them sheep's head because. They got teeth just like a sheep. They got a bunch of molars for crushing crabs and barnacles. There we go. Cute little guy right there. See you, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What? That's small. Oh. Pretty small. Pretty small. Number four, though. Bottom we were sticking them. Oh, yeah, you do. Yep. Oh, that's, that's probably the one. That is the one. That's, that's the one we the just one saw. So under that dock. Dude, uh, double up right quick. It's so easy with crabs. Oh my god. That's a quick, that quick little double. Yeah, yours is bigger. Yes, sir. That's probably a keeper, right? Yeah, if that's close. To, uh, that's see you, dude. So that's four for me, two for you. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So when this jig goes on the bottom it's supposed to sit just like this like bang the hook up look at that ready oh well hook up hey i think you missed one you're so good <laughs> doesn't count if i wasn't the, recording the big one that i caught was on a tiny one at first really yeah, I don't think the size of the fiddler crab really matters too much. Nope. Oh, dude, that was like a thump. Yeah, I feel like the big ones literally just like engulf it. Yeah, they float. The big floaters. Like you reel down, and just feel weight. These little ones are just like pecking at it. Yeah. It means we have to catch them off the front of the boat. Should we start saving the claws so we can put those on? But like, I guess. I'm doing it. Some like miniature black drum. Sketches me out. Here, I'll leave us facing your. Oh. oh, got a good one, right? I don't think it's bad. Oh, yeah. Come on up. Oh. oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. There we go. It's been a little bit. Come on. Come on up here. This is fun on this light tackle. That is a thick boy. That's a good one. Yeah. This is where we got the other good one earlier, too. Come on. There we go. Dude, yeah, that's... <laughs> that's, that's a solid one. That's probably close to 18. That's probably 17, 18. Yeah, that's a... That's a tanker. That's a good size sheep setter yes, right there. Sir. We got that. Oh. But just popped just out right there. right there. It just popped off right there. Dude, yeah, that's a good one. That is a good one. You can see the pink paint from the this is yeah, the bomb, bomb sweeper. You freaking crushed the paint off of it. That's a solid one right there. Probably close to 17 inches. Definitely a keeper. That is my fifth one today. Probably the third keeper. Bomb sweepers are kind of killing it, but the filler crabs are the way they go this time of year. So get a quick release on them. See you, dude. That was probably like 17, 18. Yeah. I mean, we already caught an 18. It was pretty close. Yeah, if you wanted to come here and catch some dinner, it's a good time of year and a good strategy to do it. Oh, we'd have some tacos. We would have some sheep's head tacos. Definitely prefer crabs. Obviously they'll eat shrimp too, but you want to limit your bycatch. You want to pretty much only target sheep's head and like maybe the occasional snapper or black drum. Fiddler crabs are the way to go. Just aim for the, some pilings. Either use a bottom sweeper like this, free line low crusher jig like uh, JC's using, or just a, uh, honestly, just a free line low hook and maybe a split shot. Oh gosh. Good 
Feel free to let go. Oh gosh, I got rope. Brent. <laughs> you won't let go. Oh goodness. Ow. Don't mind me. Nope. No, I got it. Got it. Got it? Yep. Well, you're going right back to the dock that I just I know. hooked the rope on. Got one. Got him? The yep. dock, you literally just... Yep, just nope. got my... Uh... That's a decent one, too. Yeah. Yeah, another keeper. What the heck? Another keeper right there. Yeah, it's like... It, look, he, he, he had it. it. He had it. He wanted it. I'm losing track of how many we're catching today. That's literally the same piling that you got stuck on. Like, we a minute ago. Yeah. And... They do not seem to be... Too yeah. So, for fillers. Yeah, you can literally drop it on a piling that you're like right next to. They'll still eat it. It's another keeper right there for sure. See, dude. Every time I've done a little sheep's head video, I've had multiple comments on each one saying I need to try a bottom sweeper. And doesn't seem like you guys are wrong. Seems like they're pretty productive. I'm ready for this? Wow. Did you see? Yeah, wow. I was right. I'm getting bit. Oh, I missed him. Sheep? Yeah. That was definitely sheep. Your turn. Yep, immediately. Immediately. Good one? Uh, no. Not too big. Just a little guy. Just a little guy. But that was that was the first one after switching to that bottom sweeper style. Yeah. Jake. Barely hooked him. Look, he's on the firm out. Let's see if there's any more. I'm trying just a claw. You gonna try a claw? Yep. Just one. Interesting. I bet they'll hit it. One big claw. Yeah. Got one. Got him? On the claw. Little guy. Is it a or no, it's a little sheep. Little sheep on just the oh. claw. Was that one or two claws? Uh, the first hit was on two and then one fell off, so he was on just one. So they will eat just a claw. That's good to know. You want to stop so He's I don't get... Close. He's probably right around a keeper. Yeah, He's close. It's a, like... It's kind of crazy, like a 12 inch sheep, like you can get a decent amount of meat off a 12 inch sheep. There we go. Cute little sheep right there. See you, dude. I have to applaud the people in the comments that have told me to try these. It's taken me a little bit, but it's the time of year to really start doing this as it just gets cooler out here. Mullet jumping ever as it keeps getting cooler out, the sheep tutter is going to be firing and go get some fiddler crabs apparently go get some bottom sweepers because that was a pretty good day and i i think they are see a dude approved see a dude approved that's that's gonna be i'm gonna put a stamp on it uh, don't forget jc fishing approved no nope, just this is no well, no one cares well, about your approval think about it thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time <laughs>